All right, hey everyone. Uh, wanted to go ahead and put together this brief video here discussing, if you guys hadn't seen, um, this new breed of ball came out today and you'll see the time limit is uh, one day, 22 hours on it. So it's only gonna be here for two days, hopefully gonna make a return later in the game. But uh, I wanted to just briefly describe to you, you know, why this ball is so important. When you look at the stats here, you'll see plus 10 power. So it now becomes the long, the, there hasn't been a plus 10 tier yet. Um, but even more importantly to that is the fact that there's no win redu reduction whatsoever. You'll see here also that it has 100 uh, side spin as well. So that's the full range of side spin. Um, but uh, what's most interesting about this ball is the fact that it has zero wind reduction. And the only other ball in the game up until this point that's had zero wind reduction is the basic ball. And the basic ball was actually a very important tournament ball, especially once you get up to those high winds in the 10, 12, 15 mile per hour range to where you saw in the pro tournaments and even definitely veteran as well. Uh, you know, a lot of guys may not be aware of this, but I can tell you that a lot of the best guys uh, who play tournaments at the top level realized that you could get the basic ball the longer than any other ball in the game. And the reason, now, it was a very particular case when that would happen now. You know, the wind has to be pointed at pretty much true north. But when you see winds like that, so this is a very great tailwind ball. And if I was to go in here and to, you know, just grab this one here, you'll see with the tailwind that I'll be able to put on this, when there is one, it's going to go longer than anything out there. And the biggest reason why is you'll see for those pro tournaments, when something gets up to, say, let's say 12 miles per hour, um, what you're seeing is a lot of the other balls that you would have had if that if I put equip a power 7 ball for example And there's at least 25 wind re reduction on it, which most of the balls have been at least 12 25% wind reduction, so if I reduce something 25% I'm taking 12 and Reducing it down to or right about nine maybe just a, a shade under and what happens is the force on all the bounces on a nine wind versus the force of all the bounces on a 12 wind is greater on the 12 wind. So you were seeing guys with basic ball able to get the ball maybe 10, 10, 12 yards farther because of that extra push of the wind. And sometimes wind was 14, 15. So in those cases where wind gets up 14, 15 miles per hour, you're able to bust out these drives that, you know, on a lot of the holes are greater than 400 yards. Um, and the guys who are using the Mojaves or similar ball, maybe a loop was, you know, kind of your next best was the loop R because you had a minus 15 and plus three power. So that was also a really good ball for getting out there a long way. So what you're seeing is this new class of ball being created, and now that it has the plus 10 power as well, this is going to be one of the greatest balls that you can use for the game, for distance. And you'll want to focus on situations where you could get up by the green to be able to have a, a close enough pitch to where you don't have to be affected too much for your second shot. So that's kind of the biggest use for this is to get up there really close to the green, long par four, maybe short par five, and get that way up there in the tailwind situation. And you'll be able to put yourself in the best position to be able to get that hole out, whether it be, you know, a tour match or a tournament. Um, you'll definitely want to be looking for scenarios to pull this out. And I do highly recommend, you know, making sure that you have these because this is one of those balls that if you don't have something similar, you know, the, your best bet is going to be basic ball. And the basic ball is going to be just a little bit tougher to control than this thing's going to be. Because this is definitely going to have the extra stats, you know, the side spin, 
the extra power boost, it's going to be a little bit easier for you to, uh, you know, get this out there a long way. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, I do recommend, uh, you know, definitely focusing on this ball as, and, and, you know, I figured this ball could raise some questions as to why, you know, do you need these stats? But this video pretty much describes in detail why. So hopefully that helps. Good luck out there, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.